Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple voltage regulator circuit with using an LM317 transistor and using these few simple components. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the items that you're going to need to make the circuit. And this right here is the schematic to make this 12 volt voltage regulator. This is the pinout of the LM317 transistor. Pin 1 is the adjustment to be able to adjust the voltage. Pin 2 is the output for the output voltage. Pin 3 is the input for the input voltage. The items you're going to need is this breadboard, an LM317 transistor, a 680 ohm resistor, a 5k ohm potentiometer or any of your choice, a 104 nanofarad ceramic capacitor, and a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now let's go ahead and assemble the circuit together and let's get started. First I'm going to start with the breadboard and place the LM317 just like this, the 104 nanofarad, the 10 microfarad, and the 5k ohm potentiometer and then the 680 ohm resistor placed on the adjust pin and output pin and there we go it should look just like this next i'm going to take this negative jumper wire and connect it to the 104 nanofarad ceramic capacitor and then connect it to the negative rail next take a positive jumper cable and connect it to the 104 nanofarad ceramic capacitor and connect that to the positive rail There we go, just like this. Now I'm going to take another negative jumper cable and connect that over to one of the pins of the potentiometer. I choose this side. And there we go, should look just like this. And now I'm going to take another negative jumper cable and connect it to the same pin of that, poten of that potentiometer and connect that to the negative of my electrolytic capacitor. Next I'm going to take a positive jumper cable and connect that to the ceramic capacitor and connect that to the input pin of my transistor. Next I'm going to connect the positive of the electrolytic capacitor with the positive jumper cable and connect that to the output pin of my transistor. Next I'm going to take a yellow jumper wire and I'm going to connect the adjust pin on the transistor and connect that to the center pin of my potentiometer. There we go, just like this. And there you have it, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take this positive and negative jumper cable and connect that to the positive and negative of my electrolytic capacitor, and that will be my output. There we go, just like that. And leave the wires loose. And now it's time to test the circuit, and let's control the speed of this PC fan. Take my alligator clip, connect the positive, and connect the positive of the fan. Take the negative, and then connect the negative to the fan. I have my lab bench power supply set at 12 volts DC, and I'm going to connect that to my input of my circuit. And take negative wire from the lab bench power supply, connect to a negative rail, positive wire from the lab bench power supply, connect to the positive rail, and now I can turn the potentiometer and control the speed of this fan.
Next, let's control the brightness of the LEDs. Repeat the same process, connect to the positive and negative, and there. Let's turn up the potentiometer. Ah, it works. LEDs are growing brighter and brighter. And now let's dim it to make it go darker and darker. And there you have it. Now you know how to use an LM317 transistor and a few other components to be able to control the brightness of an LED or to control the speed of a fan. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTech Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTech Tech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.